New day, new creepypasta. Today, we're going for Judge Angel. Now, I'm going to be honest, this one was a little bit of a tough one to give by. But it was somewhat mainly because of her bipolar disorder. Even I had trouble keeping myself together after reading her backstory. Oof. But... I don't want to drone on and spoil that too much right now. That's going to have to be after the intro. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, I believe now it's time to go into the backstory of Judge Angel. So what do we got? We got Judge Angel's catchphrase, I shall sentence you. Hmm. Dinah, uh, Dinah Angela Clark, or Judge Angels, is the main protagonist in the creepypasta Judge Angels. She was neglected by her father and trapped inside her own house for years since her father hated her for having black eyes and not being a normal child. Follow her through her story of being hated for being different, being isolated for her whole life, and turning into a psychopath. Okay. That's interesting. Ever since Dinah was born, her father hated her and despised her. This was because she looked nothing like her parents. Oh my god, the frickin' advertisements. No! Dinah was born. She, uh, when she was born, her father decided to isolate her from the outside world so nobody knew Dinah was his child or was even alive. When she was 15 years old, Dinah wanted to go outside just like the others were able to. She always dreamed of it, but she was trapped in the house so she knew her dream could never be fulfilled in that position. Dinah would visit a room where her father kept a long sword that was rumored to have belonged to an angel who dropped the sword during a war, and the sword landed on Earth only for it to be passed down for generations, and the sword ended up with Dinah's father. Dinah adored the sword so much, wanting it to be hers and always thinking it belonged to her and that the sword chose her. So Dinah proposed to her mother an offer to run away since both of them were miserable in the house, so her mother and Dinah decided on Christmas Eve that they will secretly want to run away. Uh, Dinah snuck out before they escaped to get a pendant that she was going to give to her mother as a gift when they escaped. For when they escaped. Mr. Clark, however, found out when people reported seeing Dinah going into the store and entering the house, so people then started to become curious, which angered Mr. Clark, since he wanted the existence of Dinah to be a secret. Mrs. Clark ran into the room screaming for Dinah to run when Mr. Clark ran in and threatened to kill Dinah because of her sneaking out in his yard beginning to become crowded with news reporters. Dinah had her head slammed against the table and she was knocked unconscious. But she woke in but she woke in a dungeon that her father had built. Misha, her father, and her father and Dinah's cruel bodyguard began to make fun of Dinah and mock her by calling her a monster. Dinah, however, shot back and mocked Misha, calling her a slut for seducing her father as Dinah knew of her tricks and told her she was just being manipulated by her father. Misha became enraged and began to beat Dinah and stomp on her. She burst into giggles and laughter even with being stomped on and Dinah then knocked Misha off her with all her immense strength. Strangled Misha to death, calling her guilty when Misha took her last breath before dying. 
Dinah goes back to the special room where the sword was and she took the sword out of its case playing to escape once she found her mother. Dinah went up to her father's office and found her mother, however her mother was dead from being stabbed and her mother was covered in bruises and wounds. She burst into tears and hugged her mother's corpse when she saw the reflection of her sword of a person heading for her. Dinah turns around and slashes the person who turned out to be her father. Dinah chops her own father's leg off, making him immediately scream in agony and become unable to pull himself up. Dinah laughs and giggles crazily, whispering and rambling on about being an angel and a judge for all humans. Dinah repeatedly stabs her father in the stomach and soon before chopping his head off, she says, I announce you guilty. Changes into a new outfit and puts her mother's corpse in a suitcase, promising to find her a beautiful place to bury her. How'd you, how'd you manage to s stuff your mother's corpse into a suitcase? Dinah leaves the mansion on fire and smiling before heading into the woods and then soon further on murdering the lives of humans who she finds guilty. Is mostly portrayed as wearing a white dress that reaches her thighs, white boots, white leggings that have straps on the top, and some belts on her sleeves. Her weapon is her s is her special weapon that her father had that had been rumored to have belonged to an angel, so Dinah calls her sword an angel sword. Due to the fact that she had never been outside, Dinah didn't really know how to be normal. The only thing that she knew was care and shyness. After her mother's murder, she ended up having bipolar disorder and became violent thanks to her dad. After meeting the nurse Anne, which is another creepypasta I will go over, she started being less friendly and more aggressive, but thanks to meeting a bloody painter, she started having feelings of love and kindness, yet she still struggles with her bipolar disorder and over things such as schizophrenia. Uh, real quick, yeah, Nurse Anne is on the list, but Bloody Painter, I feel like I had him on the list beforehand, but I think he must have gotten switched out with something else. Now I'll have to switch him back. So, both Nurse Anne and Bloody Painter, those are both going to be covered on, uh, went over later in the month. Judge Angels was created by Yaguyi, Minister. She was 15 years old in her story. Her role is the Judges of Chaos. She's dating a man named Bloody Painter. One of her most well-known enemies are Nurse Anne. Okay. Oh, I must have missed that. I said after meeting Nurse Anne, she started being less friendly and more aggressive. Okay, forgot about that. She suffers from bipolar as well as schizophrenia. She was born with black eyes and is actually twice as much better human sight. The full written story, origin story can be found on the creator's deviant art page called Judge Angels. Her birthday is on April 2nd. Alright. So we have... This one's the original picture for Judge Angel right here. Other than that... Uh, don't think I've seen this one before. That's a new one. I think I've seen this one a couple of times before. I definitely remember seeing this one a couple times before. My webcam is blocking it. God dang it. And this one too, but as I said, my freaking webcam is probably blocking it and I apologize.
Okay, that this is a cute piece right here. Between Judge Angel and Bloody Painter, that's cute. Because it said that they're technically dating. That's cute. Okay. Hey, you. Yes, you. Behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.